Hello everyone and welcome back to Nate the Hoof Guy. Today's video we've got another pesky case of hairy attack to deal with. For those of you new to the channel, hairy attack is when digital dermatitis is able to uh, colonize and attack an existing lesion. So in this case, what we've got is a white line lesion, an older white line lesion, where that's given access to this digital dermatitis. That digital dermatitis then has begun to grow on that uh, lesion and on that corium around that lesion. So we have to uh, get that healed up before we can get full healing of this foot. Here we'll get this lesion site all cleaned up so we can get a much better uh, view of the lesion itself and know where to cut when I'm uh, removing any more of this loose horn. The original lesion was a white line lesion um, way out on this outside edge that I'm notching out here. That itself has basically healed, but what it did is in the meantime allowed, when that corium was open, allowed uh, dermatitis to get in there and it actually colonized and created. Now what we have is basically a new lesion moving toward the inner part of the foot and that's the part that we need to get healed up at this point.
whenever I'm trimming around an active lesion, what I'm trying to do is remove any of the loose hoof that's actually around that lesion site. What you're gonna see on this trim is right now I'm working on that older uh, white line lesion that has healed, but there's some underrun there. So what I'm trying to do is open that up so that other things don't get impacted in there. But as I start working up now toward the active uh, hairy attack lesion, what I'm doing here is just getting it away from the actual lesion itself there's gonna be some loose hoof left. And if you've watched other, some of my other trims, I don't get too um, particular about uh, loose horn and other, once I get away from the actual lesion, because no matter how meticulous you are at this point, um, come recheck day, there is gonna be more uh, hoof that's gonna release anyway. Um, so what I wanna do is get it around the lesion. That's And the reason we remove loose hoof from around the, uh, the lesion, why that's so important is we don't want that loose hoof to, it, uh, to irritate that active lesion and keep it from healing. Um, loose horn that's around, you know, some um, already developed hoof is not, gonna, is not gonna cause a problem. And like I said, if you watch other hoof trimmers on YouTube, um, you'll notice that uh, regardless of how meticulous they are uh, at this initial trim. When it comes to the recheck and um, looking at these lesions again, there's always loose hoof to remove again. That yellowish horn you see right around the lesion here is not loose. That is actually new uh, sole that has formed. It just hasn't fully encapsulated around that lesion, so I'm not gonna cut that out. The risk of causing more corium damage, especially right there, um, is and especially when we're dealing with hairy attack is too great because if I if I do nick that and make a mess there what happens is that dilutes then um, my treatment that I'm trying to put on that that's going to actually kill that dermatitis number one two we're causing more corium damage which is going to take longer to heal and give um, uh, that hairy attack bacteria more time to colonize again on that so like I said I want to get the loose hoof around from right around that lesion site um, on this initial trim get that uh, dermatitis all healed up, then we'll go back and, and really finish this up on the recheck and get all of it to, so it looks uh, much more like a normal sole. The other thing I don't do is remove a ton of, of heel depth on these. Uh, that's kind of my pet peeve. If you've seen enough of my videos, heels are king to me. I want to keep that heel depth good so that we have good foot angle, prevent ulcers uh, later on uh, for these cows later on in their life. So if we can preserve that heel depth. What I'm doing here, uh, as we've seen before on a lot of videos, salicylic acid wrap. Um, that's going to kill that dermatitis. And then, like I said, we'll get, uh, we'll get back on a recheck and we'll get this all um, smoothed out and more uh, uniform sole thickness as far as around that lesion and stuff like that. So that'll be on the follow-up. For those of you wondering what the block does, you'll be able to see here in a minute, uh, it gives that other claw relief. It allows that cow to step on that block, raises it up and keeps that other, uh, that other claw off the ground and gives it time to rest. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. As always, thanks for watching, and we will see you on the next one.